IG and attack and defense and HP, LP and SP and grimoires and soul skills, revives and returns and backlash and spam. These are a few of my favorite things. When there's prim clone, when there's dragons, when I'm getting rushed, I only remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so sad. This is Fanaka, and I will be doing an introduction to Altiel. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I do know how to play. So, we're gonna go through an excellent match. Today, I was I had the honor of witnessing the first one-star rarity tournament. That means these are cards that you can get in the game, like triples of, three copies of a card, it's a great thing. I'm gonna try to go with you through some key ideas as we watch Paralisk 2 up top, battle versus, what's his name, artist at the bottom. So this is an excellent opening for both players. Paralisk 2 is getting his Kesseron and Recovery Powder up. That's bringing him up to 5 SP, but because of the Combat Monk, he's not going to get that 5th SP from the Kesseron. So, Hunter's out. Artist's got some nice field control, but Paralisk 2 pulled the great refess opening of getting Guardian out on turn 3. So, this is a good ex opportunity to get some LP down on Paralisk 2, but Artist doesn't want to lose the L SP yet because he wants to keep his field control and have some momentum to keep going against this Guardian. Mercenary's out now. Mercenary's excellent counter against Guardian because every turn he can increase his attack permanently by 20. So that's going to be killer if Paralisk doesn't get rid of that Mercenary after a while. Okay, Magma Golem's coming out and Paralisk's choosing to buff his Guardian up with the Dryads. Guardian's getting some good defense, but again, he's going to need to deal with that mercenary at some point. Magma Golem is excellent choice for Artist, because whenever it closes, Paralisk's going to lose uh, something to the cemetery, like a unit or a grimoire, that he can't use for the rest of the game. Notice all these soul skills are also recycling stuff to the cemetery, and this is going to look bad for both players if they don't choose wisely what to play or else they're gonna run out of revives. Paralisk 2 already got his Pegasus on the field and looks like Artis is getting more field control. He's gonna tank that mercenary with his feline kin fighter and magma golem getting a lot of units on the field so it's gonna be hard for Paralisk to counter his guardian and kill the mercenary off. Okay, Paralisk is wisely losing his LP. This is wise, because now he's getting a nice SP advantage from all those kills he's getting. Again, that Magma Golem is quite pesky, sending all the units to the cemetery. So, it looks like this mercenary is finally going down. Pegasus is getting some nice damage, and I'd say Paralisk has a nice lead right now. Notice with Mercenary, Artist did not use his action skill because he did not want to activate counter on the Guardian, even though he could have killed Pegasus. That was an interesting move. Okay, magic weapon and turn to dust. This is really interesting here. Turn to dust, gonna send units to the cemetery. Perilisk 2 wants to see what's up and wants to reduce artists' options. But that magic weapon, it's a really good choice on Mercenary because with that 20 attack per turn, even though he gets it anyways, He's going to have an easier time killing Guardian. That means less activations of the counter skill. There's probably some math going on here, too. Okay, Salamander and Magma Golem. Artist's got some nice tanks for his mercenary. If Paralisk doesn't get rid of that Merc, he's going to have a hard time keeping Guardian up. But I suspect that he has quite a few revives. So, next turn. 